You Big Talker, 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 Talk Show. Welcome Ubik back to the You Big Talker, Talker, Talk Show. Season uh, two. I'm calling it a variety show because it's going to be less of a guest-oriented show, more of a, some skits. We have comments that we're bringing back, and we have a new character who's coming up now, Mary Maps. So we're in Seattle, the home of my upbringing and also my mom's upbringing. This house has been in the family for years, and it's got a really beautiful view of the Puget Sound, so I'm enjoying that as I write. I've been doing a lot of carpentry here to spruce the place up. Been doing some Aikido, Bruce Bookman Sensei. I'm really excited to be back training with everybody. I recently uh, had a birthday, so I was able to acquire some tools to help me. Why don't you show us some of your birthday tools? Sure. To me, this thing looked like a giant principal's dream. And back in the day, like spanking children, like that. <laughs> this, thing, this thing weighs like. Um, it's bringing back bad memories. And what you do is watch your head, Eleni. Oh, God. What you do is it's for conditioning your muscles. So this is a katana, it's a Japanese sword. I use this in Iaido. It's the art of practicing drawing the sword out. So that's how we use it. So today on the show, we have a skit called Climate Deniers. We are introducing you to Mary Maps, and we have a brand new comments, where we basically act out actual comments from online articles rather than get upset by them. Mm -hmm. So the other day, an unnamed individual, who I shall not disclose here, uh, said, Eleni, there is no climate change. Let's talk about climate deniers. Rob, when I say climate deniers, what are you thinking? I'm thinking people who don't believe in climate change, right? The refusal to acknowledge that the world is changing. They think that the world's always changed this way. goes through cycles, hot and cold, and the media is all making it up. I think they're, yeah, I would say out of touch of, with the reality. So we saw a story on MSNBC because the news is on a lot here um, where we're staying, and it was on climate deniers. Basically, they were talking about the the actual problem of climate change, but there was no mention, you know, I think they mentioned fossil fuels, but there was no mention of animal agriculture. In the New York Times article that just came out highlighting re recent research on climate change, they found that through the examining the diets of 55,000 people, vegans were responsible for 75% less of greenhouse gases than people who eat meat. More of that in comments. And I'm not crazy. There was an actual Fox article, which I'll link in the comments, talking about how only 7% of the media actually mentions animal agriculture. And that's why when we talk about climate change, that's not something, you know, people frequently think about. I think part of that is because they, they don't want to alienate their viewers because the majority of people eat meat. Right. We, we'll, we'll handle the alienation <laughs> with our talk show. Yet animals raised for food account for over 15% of the global greenhouse gases. Not a math wizard, but I feel like that should also be mentioned. <laughs> um, fortunately, there are alternatives so people don't have to just eat corn on the cob or salad leaves. Uh, there's plenty of plant-based alternatives, and then there's cultivated meat that's coming out, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, I think that's a better option for those who really love meat. They can still have it. Upside Foods was just approved recently for their chicken, and they emphasize that this is not like meat, it is meat. And it's kind of cool because it's a similar technology to making beer or anything else that's familiar. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, growing animal without the consciousness. It's actually uh, more sustainable for the planet. For our first segment, let's go to our friend Mary Maps. Uh, she's very enthused about maps and little else. Hi, I'm Mary Maps. Thank you for your attention time. This is your map today from 600 BC. Mary, um, did you see the new Barbie movie? No. See, it shows the city of Babylon, the Euphrates River, and other places. It's supposed to be the first map, but if a map is defined as visual representation and spatial relationships, the first map is actually by Anaximander, a 6th century BC Greek philosopher. He used the concept of latitude and longitude first. This is not the actual map he created. That's as lost as my real hair color to time, but this goes beyond. 
it launched the field of cartography. But old Annex didn't care about that. He drew it to improve sea navigation and trade, to convince other city-states to join a federation, and just for the hell of it. Today's segment is brought to you by... Beyond Meat and this cow. Hashtag, we are animals. Did you know Mary uh, Maps improvises all her material? I can tell. Welcome to the 1120 News Hour. Where the facts matter. We are very low budget, but sharing a chair has never been better with my co-anchor Bob. So, today... Climate deniers. As you know, July was the hottest month on record. Wildfires are burning. I'm sweating. You got that right, Janet. What will it take, Bob, to get climate deniers to accept that climate change is real? Well, Janet, there's something we can do to address climate change. Yes, recycling. No, something bigger. Walking to Grandma Mimi's instead of driving. Nope, it's too hot to walk. Think even bigger. Composting? Something we do three times a day. Boop boop. Switching up that animal meat with plant-based options. What can I do? I'm just one person. I can't change. Maybe I can just eat bugs. Climate deniers. These vegans who stay in one place, don't drive cars, fly away for 36 hours in whatever vacations, don't wear and change their clothing, don't have children, I guess they don't deplete the aquifers by not eating almonds. Anyone notice how similar these comments are to all those articles suggesting the benefits of gun control? Why are we so attached to meat and guns? Vegans find evidence to prove that they are morally superior all the time. This smug, superior attitude does not make people want to try a vegan diet. It's a huge turnoff. The average American consumes over 12 ounces of meat a day, over three times the amount that was referenced in this study. Americans consume way too much meat, and the environment suffers in so many ways. Aunt Violet! Ah, you're the arbiter of diets. Why don't you unpoke your nose out of everybody else's dietary business? Manage your own carbon footprint. Don't tell people what they should or shouldn't eat. Leave hamburgers alone. Let's talk about the fact that old growth forests are being cleared. I can't tell if it's the corned beef or the cabbage that's making me fat. Just shifting the methane production from cows to humans. But this is, see, helps condition. Uh, Maybe some more repairs to be had. 